Welcome to a short video on creating and using UFT pipelines within Azure DevOps, presented to you today by myself, Steve Powell, on behalf of Edgewords and EOH. Much of what I'll be covering can be found in Microfocus's official documentation at the URL shown, but actually watching the process step by step can be incredibly helpful. When integrating UFT with Azure DevOps, you have two main choices of where to store your tests. This choice affects which type of pipeline you should create and potentially any additional Azure DevOps extensions you will require from the marketplace. If your tests are stored in a Git repository, such as the one Azure DevOps provides, use a build pipeline. If you'd like to see how to integrate UFT and Git, you can watch one of our other videos at the URL shown. On the other hand, if, like me, your tests are stored on the local file system and you want to execute them from there, you'll need a release pipeline and will need to install the Publish and Download Artifacts from Release Pipelines extension. Without this extension, you won't be able to store and access the normal UFT HTML test run reports from within Azure DevOps. In either case, you'll need to install the UFT Azure DevOps extension. And with that done, it's time to configure the host system where the UFT tests will be executed. Begin by downloading the UFT zip file from the given URL. Then, once downloaded, extract its contents. In this case, to a new folder in documents called UFT Agent. With that done, there's one more important step, and that's to remove the mark of the web from psmodule.dll. In that files properties dialog, check the unblock checkbox. If you don't do this, Windows may prevent UFT Agent from running. UFT itself must also be configured to allow other Microfocus products to run tests. Next, create a folder called UFT results. UFT will store the test run results here. Inside the folder where our UFT tests are stored, create an XML file called uftbatch.mtbx. This file contains details of the test to run and where to store the results. Without it, Azure DevOps can still be configured to run all the tests in a given folder. However, only the summary of all tests executed will be displayed. This file will allow us to keep individual run results. Create a new system environment variable called UFT underscore launcher and set its value to the UFT working folder inside the UFT agent directory. Now it's time to set up the Azure DevOps agent. This will run on this machine and listen for jobs from Azure DevOps. When it receives a job, it will call on the UFT agent, which in turn will open UFT and execute the tests. Go into Azure DevOps organization settings and select Agent Pools. Choose the default agent pool and add a new agent. Click the download button. Wait while the agent is downloaded and then extract the zip file. In this case, into a new folder called Azure Agent. Open a command prompt in the Azure Agent folder and run config.cmd. This will ask you a series of questions to create a working configuration file for the Azure Agent. Begin by supplying the server URL. This is everything before underscore settings in the browser address bar. Next, set the authentication type. After accepting the default PAT or personal activation token type, it will be necessary to create the token. Return to Azure DevOps from the user settings dropdown, select personal access tokens. Select new token and give the token a name. Choose full access. Copy the PAT, paste it into the config.cmd window. Next, register the agent to the default agent pool. Set an agent name if you wish or accept the default. Accept the default working folder and unzip steps option. It is vitally important that you do not run the Azure agent as a service. Doing so results in the agent being launched under the Windows system account. This account cannot run GUI applications, which UFT is. Instead, the agent should be launched interactively under a normal user account. You can, however, opt to configure the agent to launch at startup with that account. With configuration complete, run the Azure DevOps agent, ideally with administrative permissions that can be passed on to UFT when it runs tests. So, a quick recap on the folder structure before we configure the Azure DevOps pipeline.
Returning to Azure DevOps, create a new project. Then create a new pipeline. As the tests are stored on the host's local file system, a release pipeline is chosen. This means it will not be necessary to configure a Git repository, as there is none. Empty job is chosen as the stage template, and the stage is given a more descriptive name. Now it's time to configure the step details. First ensure the agent is configured to use the default agent pool, the one our agent and UFT is registered to. Otherwise, Azure DevOps will attempt to run the job on the Azure servers, and the job will fail. Next, add a PowerShell step. This step will be responsible for clearing out any previous test execution summary reports from the agent's file system, so that they are not incorrectly re-reported for later runs. The command shown forcibly removes any files contained in the UFT agent folder's RES folder. The next PowerShell step similarly removes old individual UFT test run results from the UFT results folder again to avoid these results incorrectly appearing in later run artifacts. With all old results cleared out, it's now time to configure a step that calls on the UFT agent to discover and execute tests. While the marketplace extension UFT file system execution can be pointed directly at a folder just containing tests, the results will be suboptimal, as you will only receive a report on the overall execution summary. By pointing to the earlier created MTBX file, it's possible to also capture individual UFT test run reports. Don't forget to expand out control options and check continue on error. Otherwise, the first failing test will stop any further tests executing. Now that the tests have been executed, it's time to gather and publish the results. The UFT agent creates a JUnit compatible XML report that Azure DevOps can use to report on test successes and failures. The XML file can be found in the UFT agent's UFT working res folder. The file is called result with a timestamp dot XML. The glob pattern in the test results file text box ensures it can be found. While the previous step will provide a summary of test successes and failures within Azure DevOps, if a test should fail, you will want access to the normal UFT report to investigate the test failure at the test step level. As this example uses a release pipeline versus a build pipeline, it is not currently possible to publish the result file artifacts without the aid of an extension. The Publish Release Artifacts extension is pointed at the UFT results folder. This will contain the individual result files, and these files will be zipped up and made available as part of the log. All job steps are complete. Save the pipeline and create a release. This will run the pipeline. Run progress can be monitored from the stage logs. Switching briefly to the Azure agent, you will see that it has successfully received a job and is now executing it. The UFT agent finds the tests specified by the MTBX file and executes them. Once execution is complete, the test results are published. A summary of the test execution results is available from the Tests tab. By default, only aborted or failed tests will be shown in the section below. This filtered view can be adjusted to show all tests, whatever their status. To view the normal UFT test report, switch back to the Logs tab and click Download All Logs. Extract the contents of this file and drill through to find uftresults.zip. Extract the contents of that file also. Open the test you're interested in, locate runresults.html and open it. This is the familiar UFT report with step level detail. Finally, and for completeness, a test execution summary is also available from the pipeline runs stage details. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this useful and please take a moment to consider the other services Edwards and EOH can offer you.